So the course is called Management Construction of Gal Shields Academy and the idea behind it was we've got a new school being built literally next door and we felt that with the liaison and the link we've got with uh, Morris Construction there was a great opportunity for us to have a course that could offer pupils who may be interested in surveying or building, looking at skills in that area in the private sector, we felt it would be an opportunity to really have a course that's bespoke to us. We look to, to try and maximise social impact within, within the area where we're working. Um, so we reached out to try and um, see what we could do going forward um, with the school. Um, now obviously we've got, we've got the basic things such as you know, we can provide work experience, we can provide site visits, we can provide STEM activities within the classroom and, and all these kind of things. Um, however, it was Pauline that suggested that we actually should try and do something different and innovative and uh, yeah, something that was a bit unique. Um, to this specific build. And the course SCQF Gold journey that we'd been on was sort of a driver and we thought we were in a position to do something a wee bit more exciting. And then our next steps were to bring in other partners because there was no way we could manage to do this ourselves. The creation of a partnership between ourselves at Power and Futures, the school here at Gala Shields, Developing Young Workforce, Morrison's Construction and Borders College. I work for Borders College and we actually do certain courses with um, Gala Shields Academy and I'm using certain uh, units, certainly from the Foundation Apprenticeship and Civil Engineering course that I do teach. So some of these units were transferable into this course, and so that's why the college got involved. The course is five units, uh, three of which are delivered by the college. One is a workplace unit, and the other one is Powering Futures, which I'm delivering. We at Powering Futures help empower the next generation with the enhanced skills and abilities, creating a talent pipeline for businesses transitioning to net zero. We offer the Powering Futures Level 6 accredited programme, which is an 80 notional learning hour course, and that is slotted right into the Gala Shields Management Construction course here. This has been built within a construction context because the new school is being built and they are looking at developing a lot of the skills needed if you wanted to work on site. So we have the surveying unit that we do, they're using the levelling equipment outside. Today they were doing a bit of building, they've done site surveying, they're doing enterprise skills, they're doing computer aided design. A couple of boys have had a chance to go to Morris Construction subcontractors and do their work experience. I got to shadow a uh, civil engineer, it was really good, good experience. It's not like a fantasy, I get to like actually be a part of something and it feels like I'm doing something. There's a whole host of skills that they learn. Bear in mind that none of these students had seen any levelling equipment. None of them could read the ePrint staffs. So that's a skill they've learned. But the biggest skill they've learned is uh, things like um, networking, sort of group working. I enjoy uh, working with a team and communicating with a lot of people. Maybe people that I don't speak to as much outside of school, so it's a new challenge to interact with new people. and. That's a really good aspect of the course because I work with a lot of different people. With the Powering Futures element of it, we focus a lot on the development of meta skills within young people. So actually, while they're learning those sort of specialised skills around computer-aided design and entrepreneurship, we are focusing a lot on the development of meta skills. So being able to problem solve, communicate, critical think, and all those things that we know are really important regardless of what next steps you take after school. We always notice a development in leadership skills in sixth year and you always notice they, they just sort of blossom into the young people. You can see them being the young people that they're going to be, the young adults of the future. But in these students in particular, I've noticed a significant improvement in their skills and confidence. Learning a lot of communication and creative thinking, that's really been brought out in this course because we're really trying to bring out the best in each other. So really thinking hard, really trying to get our ideas forward to help get a better solution and prevent that. The final bit of work they do for Powering Futures is a written piece of work on one side, but the other side is delivering a solution to a real world industry problem. And they work through our programme where they create a solution and they present that solution back to a panel of industry judges. So like I'd said beforehand, they're working on developing a lot of these meta skills that are absolutely critical for employers going forward and are going to help see them into whatever future pathway they go on to after school. It's very tied into what they'll be expected to do in uni or college or in a, in a place of work, they're preparing themselves for a delivery and, and a final project. They give them an appreciation for what the businesses are looking for, what qualities they're looking for. We decided what was the biggest benefit, and that's really what's happened, is that the students get the skills experience yeah, as well as absolutely. getting accredited with the units. Absolutely. And absolutely. this is what, you know, they're, they're currently applying for universities and they're putting things on their application forms that are really making them stand out for the 
hopefully the rest of the students. Yeah, through having this course. Some of the students have already spoken and gotten interviews for within industry. So some of the companies that have close links with the colleges have maybe looked at a couple of students and realised their qualities, know where they'd be a good fit, and have actually set up interviews. Where they go with that is up to themselves, but it's actually good experience doing interviews along the way as well. And hopefully it benefits the companies as well that have links with the college. These skills are applicable no matter what context. When they're working on the stuff they do within the college, they're still working on those skills. When they go on site, they're still communicating, they're still working with other people. Uh, is it exciting being involved in real life project? Because it's like, again, not an awful lot of people have done it before. So, especially for everyone in this school, I don't know about around the country, but for us, it's a first time challenge. It's a course that they know is unique to them. It's a course that will help them stand out in their, their next stage. So they're, their, their future, it could be college, it could be um, an apprenticeship, it could be university. The things they're doing in the course is going to allow them to really stand out on paper and build their confidence as individual young people. You know, just sitting in a class waiting for the teacher to tell you to do something. You get to work on it as you go and you get to speak to everyone about it. And it's mostly like group work, it's not just you're sitting by yourself. I really like this method because it allows me to think freely of different solutions to solve the problems. It's up my confidence a lot, yeah, working in groups and teams because normally before I'd be a bit shy to get my ideas across but now I feel like I'm not as afraid to say my ideas and my thoughts. SCQF is it's got such a wide menu of opportunities that it helps pupils to widen the horizons to be prepared for their, their next steps. It's allowed them to be flexible and given them these chances to work on stuff that they wouldn't do if it was just higher PE or higher physics or higher chemistry. It's very much looking at those wider personal skills and readiness for industry. From an employer perspective, we're, um, we're looking at it as if you know, we're educating the future workforce. You know, we're, we're encouraging young people to come into the industry. Um, it's no secret that there's a, there's a skill shortage within the industry and we need people, to, young people, to come in. You can always learn how to pick up more specialised skills, like how to do something, but actually building those foundations around how you actually be a more effective contributor when you get into the working world is really important. And that's what the young people who are taking part in the Power and Futures element of the wider programme um, here at Gala Shields are going to be able to develop. We are an SEQF Gold Ambassador School and to build on our um, excellent work so far, we're going to continue to offer and are still looking at different course choice options as pupils move into their senior phase. We're going to continue to work with the, our partners, with Powering Futures, with the college, with developing the young workforce to make sure that um, the pupils are um, in the best position possible to move into their chosen pathway beyond school so everyone's got a positive destination. I, I probably didn't think it was going to end up as, as positive as it has been, to be honest. Which is I think okay we started that. putting down some ideas and then started realising that they were maybe a wee bit way out there and perhaps we weren't going to yeah, manage it. Yeah. So it's really good just now to actually see it has all come together. To see it as being a huge success and actually going to be running again next year yeah. is really exciting.